Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the Bantamweight bout between um, Taylor Lopulus versus Vince Morales. And how do I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence, Taylor Lopulus to beat Vince Morales. So um, what is like, um, Vince, this is like Vince Morales' third attempt at the UFC. I think of course of those fights, he had like two wins and like five losses. But don't call me. I think he has more losses than five, but he this is like his third attempt in the UFC. I know the last one was his second attempt, so it's like his third attempt in the UFC. Maybe his fourth attempt, but yeah. Mr. Morales is a solid guy. He's a solid fighter. I just don't think he gets the best luck of the draw. He gets some competitive fights. He actually has one, one of those fights. He's beat um, a guy who's doing kind of well for himself right now, Ayman Zahabi. Ayman Zahabi had a rough patch, and you know now he's able to get the, you know, the best team of his career now. And that's the guy who Mr. Morales beat. Outpointed him. Outstruck him. So yeah, Vincent Rouse is another one of the guys who has a lot of experience, has a lot of skill. He's not just like on scrub. Like, oh, Vincent Rouse is a scrub. He got glass chin, no striking. I don't know how he even gets in the UFC. Like his skills like match up with the UFC level. Like he's a decent fighter. Like he's a good fighter. It's just that like he's one of those fighters. He's not getting the, the best matchups, and that's what it is. But at the end of the day, you can't really complain about the luck draw. I guess he's not complaining. He coming here taking a fight in France versus a solid France fighter who's a well-rounded fighter and, other, and also a guy who's experienced like him. Um, Ted Lopez has been in the game for a long time. He has been around the uh, different MMA circuits. So two guys that are very experienced, but I got to go with Taylor Lopez again, average confidence. I feel like he's just a more technical fighter. He's a fighter who's good at point fighting. You know, he knows he go for the finish, but he's very good at, you know, piling up points, using his footwork, being fast, being quick, using his length. So I think he would beat Mr. Morales in the point fighting game. They go the fight plays out like a point fight. If um, Vince Morales tries to overcommit, he's good at decent at countering. He could crack Morales if Morales tries to overcommit. I don't think Vince Morales' offensive grappling is so insane or anything like that. So I feel like Lopez has shown a good takedown defense. He has shown good ability to get back with his feet. If anything, he might actually be a better sub grappler than Morales, but that's probably a stretch. But I do think he can uh, basically I can say he can hold his own in the grappling environment. I think he's a, the quicker, more technical striker. He's on the, I guess, better momentum inside the UFC. Morales has been able to get a good moment. I'll go, yeah, what am I saying? Morales has been able to establish some good momentum outside of the UFC, but, you know, his issue has always been getting that momentum to trans translate into the UFC. Like, so, I can't really say that momentum means so much. Or he has beat such a big name in that thing, and, you know, in that streak. You know, he'd be like the Rudy Shihara, you know, kind of a low-level UFC fighter who had some okay success for a little bit of time. And he'd beat Hunter Azor, who's like, okay, but kind of like very one-dimensional and green. So, I can say, oh, he beat that, he beat that guy. Now, all the people he beat, you know, it makes sense. It's no wins that blow you out of the water. So, I, I can't really say, like, it shows so much difference in him. It shows, again, that he's a decent, good fighter. But is he decent, good enough to really be able to stack wins together and really be successful in the UFC? I, and I can't say that from what his, you know, from any of the wins or any of his performances, you know, along the streak that he's currently on. So, you have to go take Lopez again. I feel like he's sharper, quicker. Better at playing points. You know, pretty much he's better at beating Morales everywhere this fight takes place. Maybe pure BJJ that might go with Morales, maybe. And I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to focus on that. But, you know, just about in general in May, I feel like striking, you know, pretty much all the areas I would say I would lean Taylor Lopez to win, especially, you know, distance. I would say that lean top Lopez. And Lopez, I think he has decent leg because I don't think he is such a big part of his game. But I feel like it's something he has and that's something he could definitely implement here. I feel like Morales does not do a good job of defending leg kicks at all. So, Lopez on top of working on the jab, if he can you know, kind of hand fight a little bit and slip some some good leg kicks in there, get some good calf kicks in there, I definitely think that makes this fight even easier for him because Morales does not really defend those well. And also that will take away some Morales' power, take away some of his footwork, you know, take away from his ability to, to drive. He tries to go for takedowns. But yeah, I just think Taylor Lopez is going to fight a good calculated fight, use his length. And also getting there in France, I think this goes the distance. I think um, Lopez is going to technically break him down, like work behind the jab, use his length, use his speed draw out Morales' offense, counter him, and just continue to circle, stab with the kicks, chop his legs down, and I think he beats him to a decision. Competitive fight. Again, Morales is a solid, you know, fighter. He's a solid fighter. He got a good experience. He's well-rounded. So he's definitely going to push Lopez by this thing. Lopez just going to be the more clean, more clinical fighter throughout the 15 minutes of that fight. And I think he wins a decision victory over Vince Morales. So in this one, I have Taylor Lopez via decision. 